and that's... Welcome to Lourdes, the home of crickets for the most part, but for the two weeks of the Olympics, this is the chance for the archers to take centre stage in front of the magnificent old pavilion. Well, the Koreans are the dominant force in world archery. Acknowledging the crowd. America. She responds to the crowd, who in turn give her another big cheer. <laughs> Always important to have a good first arrow. The nine. outer yellow circle, that's nine points. This is the second arrow. And you can add seven to the total for that. Two arrows gone. Can the athlete finish this end on a high? Eight. Just outside the yellow. That's worth eight. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Well, the scoreboard's looking good here. Second place after that round. Looking for a good fourth arrow in this competition. Well, that's solid. A solid first arrow in this second end. This is arrow number two of the second end. Bang on. Ten. This is the sixth arrow of the competition. Well, that arrow's worth ten. United States of America with his four. Here's the replay. Midway through this competition, and the USA are in second position. Here we are for the third end, and the competitors will shoot towards the magnificent media centre. Trust, we're not in the line of fire. Arrow two, end three. Nine points. Good shot. We'll check on the leaderboard in a moment, but first, the final arrow of end number three. Here's the replay. Good performance from Team USA so far, and the scoreboard confirms it. They're in first place. End four, arrow number one. That arrow's worth nine. Only two arrows to go. This is end number four. Nine more points in the outer yellow circle. This is the glory arrow. Everything riding on this. End four, arrow three. Really good. Nine. Here's the replay. Well, in anybody's Olympic book, that was an excellent performance from that athlete. And the crowd recognise it too. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. One final check on the standings then, what an event this has been. Confirmed now, a gold medal for the USA. Here we go then, time to reap the rewards for the efforts. And all three of them are delighted. Great big smiles. And these medals are hugely deserved for all three ladies. Desire and dedication brings you this moment. A moment that leaves a lump in the throat. She really has had a terrific Olympic Games. And there's no doubts at all that she can go on from here and use this as a springboard for world domination. Let's take a check on the medal table.
final event of this session at the Aquatic Centre here in Stratford. The athletes are ready, 17 and a half thousand fans are ready. Let's get it on. Shall we cheer right onto the line as now the athletes take to their blocks. We're off and we're underway in the women's 100 meters freestyle final. Race starting to take shape as we reach the quarter point. All eight athletes very, very close through 25 meters. Not strong enough here. Strong kick. In the lead, Germany. In second is China. In third, Australia. 25 meters to go. One final push for 10 meters. They touch now. Well, super stuff. It's gold for Germany. It's silver for China. The bronze will go to USA. Well, that was fairly impressive. A good race and a good performance. A strong stroke, good breathing patterns. But most importantly, when it came down to the crunch, this athlete really did work hard with their endurance. day it's been and quite rightly enjoying every moment soaking in the atmosphere here these are memories that will live long for these athletes and to take home a medal from an Olympic Games is a dream a dream moment this is the medal tally so much excitement so much anticipation for today's London for the bronze medal match in the men's table tennis. Up next, the USA against Canada. The next event's the table tennis, and watching for us is Alison Kirbishley. Well, it goes without saying, it's so important to get a good first serve here. Wow, that backhand, what a joy to watch. Fantastic rally kept alive with that backhand. Wow, this is a really long rally now. That backhand will test his opponent. Oh, well, the questions are coming hard and fast across the net at him. He just doesn't seem to have the answers. Well, he really won't be happy with that. He loses the point there with that play. Well, it's another point lost for him, and he really does need to get back into this. Oh, he's just starting to frustrate his opponent that little bit more. He takes the point, and he's building in confidence. He's looking for the point with a the smash there. Great technique on show with the backhand. So that's another point lost for him, and he really is in danger of losing this game. Looking to force the errors, asking the questions with a backhand. So the rally really starting to take shape. Well, it's another point lost for him, and he really does need to get back into this. United States of America to serve. Two, six. Oh, he really is starting to play to the crowd now, and they are responding. What a fantastic point one. 
the crowd go wild and they respond. What a point one. Game point. Canada to serve. Six, four. Playing so well there and quite rightly take the point as a result. Game point. It's game point here. He really needs to take advantage. He doesn't want to let it slip. Yes! United States of America to serve. Six, six. He really is rising to the occasion of the Olympic Games. What fantastic play to win the point there. To serve. Six, seven. Well, that's the end of the first game. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. What's going to happen from here? Can he get a good first serve in this second game now? Good work for the point, good use of the table. Oh, I'm not sure his opponent is enjoying it as much as the crowd are, but he will take the confidence from that point. Setting the court alive with their play. Absolutely deserve that point. Zero, three. So the rally's starting to take shape. Forehand keeps the rally going. United States of America to serve. Four, zero. Well, he really is making great use of the table there. He wins the point with a shot down the line. Pressure's really building. His opponent's error forced, and he'll take the point for that. Match point. Canada to serve. Zero, six. Well, what a fantastic performance out there today, and quite rightly so. He takes the victory for Team USA, winning two games to nil. Well, that's all the Olympic action from here for the moment. Seth Bennett will now wrap up the results from this event. Alison, thank you very much. This really is proving to be one of the most exciting events of the Olympic Games. I've got to say, I really enjoyed that. Well, this is the moment where we can enjoy success, and certainly they'll be doing that on the podium. Time for the national anthems to celebrate. emotion down there so much happiness all the hard work that these athletes put in and you can't deny them that feeling of elation whilst on the podium it's been brilliant once again and thoroughly deserving of these medals Stadium is full to the rafters, barely a seat to be had here, being sold out for an awful long time. And the next event is half a lap of the track. It's the 200 meters. Every Olympics has a superstar, and there's every chance that this athlete could be the face of London 2012. You can almost see the adrenaline pumping in this athlete. Set. And we're off. And it's a struggle to keep in touch with the leaders, approaching full pace. As we approach the midway point, there's real power here. In first place, South Africa. Looking for medals in the 200. It's gold for Team USA. South Africa takes silver. Third place and a medal for the hosts, Great Britain, who finished third. Bronze. What a performance. And look at that celebration. A jig of delight on the track here. Pump of the fist in celebration. And quite rightly, he gets the accolades of the crowd. Standing starts, off the blocks quickly, straight into the stride pattern. 
And then it was a case of showing some heart through the middle part of the race, really putting the foot to the floor and then driving towards the line. That was brilliant. Team USA has another Olympic champion and another gold medal for the table. Well, it's time now to crown the Olympic champion. The flags fly high, as now we'll pause for a moment to reflect on a terrific performance. The flags of success fly high over the stadium. And these moments will be captured and will be on the front pages of the papers in the morning. Terrific performances rewarded with gold, silver and bronze. That's the end of the day's proceedings, but still plenty of Olympic champions to be crowned.